Hey guys, as promised, here's my review of the Predators figures from NECA. I ended up picking up both the Berserker and the Falconer. Originally, I was just going to get the Berserker. I thought he was the coolest looking of all the group. I love the skull jawbone thing on his mask. But after seeing the film, I actually saw it twice in theaters. I really did enjoy it. Uh, not quite up to par with the original, but I think probably the best sequel, especially better than the Alien vs. Predator movies. And it didn't have Danny Glover running around, which makes it much better. Uh, after seeing the movie, I really liked the character of Falconer. I really thought he was a neat concept, and I really loved oh, his big scene in the movie. Not to give any spoilers away, but his big scene, the scene I think most people will recognize him from, I really enjoyed that scene. I know it was kind of not some people's cup of tea, but I really liked it, so I definitely wanted to pick him up as well. Here's the uh, packaging. I really do enjoy this packaging. I'm not a big packaging person. I never keep things in containers to display them. It's a toy. No matter how much it's going to be worth in the future, it's a toy. It's meant to be out and enjoyed and displayed. And you can see here it's the Berserker Predator's mask in the background. The card's actually shaped around him. And a nice little bubble. People have complained NECA is cheaping out with these things, that they're not the hardcore clamshells or anything. But if it keeps the price down... I really don't mind. I don't keep them in these forever. I don't store them in these things. As long as they come out good at the retail end and they don't get all crumpled up, I really don't mind. One thing I don't like about the package is here on the back, there's a write-up on the characters. This one's the Falconer's packaging. He's already out of the package. You could pause if you want and read this. It's a background of detail on the character, supposedly provided from Fox. I don't know if it has anything to do with the people who made the movie necessarily, but this is what Fox supplied to NECA for a background on the characters, and it is a load of crap. I never saw anything remotely hinting at this in the movie. They use a term I've only heard used in the comic books to refer to the race of the Predators, and somewhere on here it says something about them, the Falconer using Xenomorph technology. Xenomorph, I'm assuming, meaning aliens from the Alien movies. And did those things have technology? Most I knew their biggest technological advantage was gooping people to walls with their saliva. Not much of a technological advantage there, if you ask me. But what do I know? I've never been to outer space. But anyway, I'm going to cut the video here and get these guys opened up. And we can talk more about the figures. Alright guys, here we have Falconer out of the package. I really like this guy. I'm so happy I picked him up. The detailing on him is really great. I know a lot of people have been comparing these things to the Hot Toys figures that are coming out. I don't think that's a fair comparison at all, seeing these are a tenth of the price. But definitely a nice figure. Nicely painted, nicely detailed. You can see the paint scheme is very much how it is in the movie. I, I haven't heard any complaints from anybody about the paint coloration. From what I saw in the film, this is pretty much what he looked like. Uh, it's got some great details on him. If you could take a look at the uh, helmet up here, the bio helmet, you can see there's all kinds of scuff marks and you know wear and tear on it. And I love that bio mask, by the way. It's really nice looking. Very well detailed on here. You can see the rest of the armor on him is pretty equally detailed. Most of these are soft rubber pieces. The piece here on the shoulder coming across, all the loincloth area, the straps around his legs, and even the tops of those boots are rubberized and actually has a ball joint in the foot. And I thought it was going to be cut joints at the top of the boots, but there's actually a ball joint down in the foot with a rubber thing around it to make the upper part of the boot, which is actually a really nice thing. I'm sure they probably did it that way so they could use the mold for other Predator figures in the future. I think it's a really nice touch. Speaking of articulation, he does have a ball-jointed neck, ball-jointed shoulders, and it's a little bit hindered by the armor there on the side, but not incredibly badly. My favorite part of any of the most recent NECA figures from the Terminator line to I think even the Sam figure from Trick or Treat had it, the ball hinge uh, elbows that they have. I mean, this is great articulation, especially from a company that used to give us statues. I think it's a really nice add-on. Also, ball-jointed wrists. Falconer's wrists are slightly dampened by the fact that he has these big gauntlets on. You see the one hand is supposed to be like armored, like I guess a Falconer's glove. 
and the other one has the sticking out blade. The blade is interchangeable with the short one that comes with Berserker, but his hands really just do mostly... Might as well have been a cut joint. You don't really get much use out of the ball joint. But that's a minor issue. He also has a cut joint at the waist. Cut joints that are kind of V-shaped around his crotch. Um, they're also in the upper leg cut joints. The same kind of ball hinge that he has in the elbows are also on his knees. And as I mentioned, the ball joint in the feet. My knees are a little loose on here. I'm not going to complain about it much. It's nothing that's going to keep the character from standing or anything like that. But they could be a little tighter. I don't know if this is a universal problem with the Falconer or not, but it's a minor problem. And, uh, and take this guy, turn him around here. Oh, there goes. This one complaint I do have. This blade here doesn't clip in, so it will fall out a lot. I actually opened him up sitting on the couch and thought I'd lost the blade already. It sank down between the cushions. The dreadlocks are so much nicer than what NECA's done in the past. They're just nice. They're mostly separated with the wolf predator figure that I have. They're all kind of clumped together in clumps of at least three dreadlocks. These are pretty much separate. Every so often we'll get two stuck together. And they do join together more up at the top, but they do flow much more naturally than the previous Predator figures. I guess the heat from the packaging, because they are a softer rubber, some of them did bend under and get stuck, but I've been playing with them and they seem like they're loosening up and flowing more naturally now. So it's something you just need to play with. The detail on the back, that's one difference with these Predators as compared to the old ones. They really don't have much going on their back. The old one used to have the med kits and the the mounts for their guns and all that stuff. These guys really don't have too much going on on the back. And in case anyone was wondering, something I forgot to mention earlier, the masks are not removable. The helmets are not removable. I'm interested to see what Hot Toys does with the Falconer that they're coming out with, because they also have removable masks. And I don't think we ever get to see Falconer's face. So I'd be kind of interested to see what they do with that there. The head does come off fairly easily. I know they're coming out with a unmasked Berserker sometime soon for the second wave, I believe. And if you wanted to just keep one body and exchange the heads, they actually do pop off pretty easily. According to NECA, it would be too expensive to give you that second head, but I'm inclined to believe them a little bit. All right, so that's pretty much done with Falconer there. And I'll get Berserker out here and we'll talk about him. Okay guys, and we're back with Berserker out of his package. I decided to put him in a little more dynamic pose just to show off what he could do a little better than Falconer. But looking at him now, I think he kind of looks like he's playing football trying to block somebody. So it might not have been the most impressive pose I could have put him in. But anyway, I don't have quite as much to cover on this guy just because his articulation is pretty much the same. The body sculpt is the same. The paint is different, and I think his armor is... Yeah, his armor definitely is different. Uh, one thing I want to talk about first is this is actually the second Berserker that I've had in my hands today because of that little toe on the side right there. That little guy. The first one I bought was missing that piece. There was a hole where it was supposed to be on his foot. And I don't know how many people know about this, but NECA has a Twitter page where I believe their project development, yeah, product development head, I believe that's the guy who actually works on that page. He's, I think, the same guy you see in a lot of interviews from, like, Comic-Con and stuff like that. And he actually goes on there, he talks to people and shows new pictures and stuff. So if you're a fan of NECA products, definitely check that out. But I mentioned on there that I picked up the figures and he was missing his toe. And evidently that's a very odd problem to have because the foot is cast as a solid piece. So for that to be missing must have been a hell of a mold error. But I went back to the toy store, Toys R Us, returned the guy, got a new one. This one's pretty much as nice as the old one. His cannon up here is bent a little bit. I think I could just use some hot water and put it back to where it needs to be. It's not really all that noticeable. It's definitely a livable issue. Berserker is really nice. It's the one that I wanted to get from the beginning. It's a really cool character. I was having problems because I was trying to decide whether I should wait and get the unmasked version in Series 2 or just to get this guy. 
And I decided I needed to have the jawbone mask, but I think I will get him with the exposed head when it comes out. I know the biggest issue people have had with this figure so far, I've heard, is the paint. It's not quite what it should be. I don't hate it as much as a lot of people do. It's just personal preference. I guess I have low standards or something. I don't know. I think it looks fine. It could look better. Supposedly, the next version, the, the unmasked version, will look better. So, if it is much better, I'll probably just pop this head off, do something with the body, and just switch the heads as I feel whatever head I want that day, I can snap on there. So the heads do come off really easily. I think I mentioned that earlier. But the detail on them is nice. Especially, you know, if I have him up on the shelf, I don't think the paint's going to be all that noticeable anyway. The f little flaws in it. His mask, I love. I love the copper color of it. I think it just really looks neat. The only other bit of articulation this guy has is the cannon does swivel and rotate. You know, it's a little stiff right now. It does rotate, I promise. And the barrel of the gun actually does rotate as well, which is kind of interesting. It seems kind of unnecessary, but I'll take it. His wrist blade is a lot shorter. This is supposed to be the retracted version. Obviously, the long version is one on Falconer, but you can switch them out. Here on the back, you can see the dreads. I know I was talking with Falconer that when you get them fresh out of the package, some of them are kind of all weirded around and kind of melted in the wrong places. Uh, when I messed with the Berserker earlier, the first one I got, before I noticed he was broken, it wasn't too hard to fix these, but I figured I'd just take them right out of the package and show you guys what I meant. I love the red tips on the hair on this guy. I think it's a really neat design quality. I really like these new Predators, actually. I know some people aren't big fans of them, but I like them. I like that they're more reptile-ish, can make the old ones look more amphibian-like. It's a neat contrast. All right, so that's about it. I think I'm going to go and grab my wolf predator, and I can give you guys a look at the whole collection type thing together. So here you go. Here's a comparison with the two new predators next to the old wolf predator from AVP, or the second one. I don't remember what the full title of that one was called. Um, These guys are supposed to be larger than the older predators. I guess the classic predators. These guys are supposed to be the super black predators and be larger. And they're not really much taller. As you can see, the wolf at his fullest height is still kind of crouched down. And these guys are standing as straight-legged as possible. So really not much of a height difference. But I'm assuming this probably is just another cost thing of trying to use the same body. Obviously, this isn't the same body as the wolf, but in future... Because they're going to go back, supposedly, and do Predator 1, Predator 2 Elder, and maybe a couple other types of, you know, classic Predators from back in the day. I figured I'd just give a, you know, end with a quick comparison. You could take a look, see how they look together. If you're looking to get these guys for your collection, I would highly recommend it. They're really nice figures. They're really cool. NECA did a great job. They continue to impress me on the level of detail they put in their figures and this new articulation they've been adding. So many different points of articulation. So many different poses you could put these guys in. It's awesome. I really am enjoying it. And I can't wait to pick up the Tracker Predator and the Predator Dog whenever those guys are released. And hopefully it won't be so hard to find them in stores. I know I've been waiting since the movie came out to pick these guys up. And just took until today's the... I'm filming this on the 30th. I don't know if I'll get it up today or not. But it took a little while from the 9th to the 30th to pick these guys up. Finally get them in store. Definitely worth the wait. I can't wait to actually have these guys up on display, pick some cool poses for them. Maybe I'll have to do a custom falcon for the falcon or predator, since it sounds like they're not going to do one. I would definitely highly recommend these guys, so you should go try to find them and pick them up. All right, bye. Get the